Hello Capricorn and welcome back. I'm Fifi and this is Fifi's Tarot Readings. So um, I'm going to get straight into this reading for you. So the uh, theme or you know the topic or the title of this video is reconciliation or moving on. Uh, so Capricorn for those that are wondering whether there will be a reconciliation with you and your person um, you know this reading is definitely for you. Um, and also if it's kind of time to move on. Um, so you know if anything, you know, the, the tarot readings um, should empower you with your decision making. It should just give you power, not take it away. Um, so I'm going to get straight into this Capricorn. Uh, I'm going to start with this deck here. And I did just a very quick meditation and I felt Capricorn that some of you were longing for someone. Um, you haven't been in contact with this person for a while. Some of you, um, it was like almost an amicable separation or some of you naturally just went your separate ways. Um, yeah, and for others, I, I, you know, I do feel like your person is also longing for you as well, Capricorn. So we'll see where that goes. It's just, I've got that energy of longing. You know, when you, you know, you yearn for someone, you know, you're kind of pining for them. So let's see where this goes, Capricorn. Uh, and there is no extended for this reading. I want this to be a very thorough, <laughs> a very full reading for you. Okay, now, for those uh, that would like to book a personal reading with me, a one-on-one -on -one personal reading, um, if you want to know about reconciliation or moving on, um, I can most definitely do that. All that information is at the bottom uh, in this description box. And, you know, there we can, I'll definitely um, talk specifically at you and specifically about your person. So, you know, if not, enjoy this reading and let's get straight into it. For Capricorn, please. Reconciliation. Reconciliation or moving on. For the collective watching, please, Capricorn. What should they know for their highest good? All right, Capricorn. So are you yearning for someone, Capricorn? Is there someone that you're yearning for? I feel like someone's yearning for you as well. All right, Capricorn. We have Strength, Leo. Nine of Wands. Okay, we've got some Fire sign here. Six of Pentacles, an Earth sign here. Ace of Wands, oh beautiful. King of Wands, a lot of fire energy here. The Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man. Six of Swords, we've got two Sixes here. Two of Cups, oh beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Lovely, I like this. Uh, so, uh, so. Okay, I'm, you know, we're talking about reconciliation or moving on, and I am definitely seeing here, so far, uh, Capricorn, before I put any more cards on, this is just a very clear, uh, basic blueprint before I pull more cards on top, but I am seeing here that there's a desire for reconciliation here. So Capricorn, I am seeing here, we've got the, the strength card, Leo, we also have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy. I'm seeing here that you're trying to be very strong at the moment, Capricorn. You're trying to even put on a strong front here. There's something here that has really tested your strength. And that could be reaching out to someone, saying what you really feel, or it could be, it's just putting up that front here that, oh, you know, I'm fine, I don't care, when really, you do care. And um, we're showing out, we've got the card of the Wounded Warrior here. So it's a bit of a defensive energy here. It's almost like protecting your heart almost. You know, who are you feeling a little bit guarded against? We've got the Six of Pentacles here. Equal give and take though. I feel so far what I'm getting here is that um, there is someone that you do want to reconcile with. And I feel like that person wants to reconcile with you as well. Um, but you're being a little bit guarded here. You don't want... In other words, past hurts to come back. You don't want people to hurt you. You don't want people to waste your time as well. You want people to show you that's an equal give and take here. Because I feel Capricorn, you, you are a very straightforward um, star sign. Whereas, unfortunately, you know, not everyone is going to be honest with you. And I feel like, you know, you're in a position now, it's like, no more of that. I definitely feel here, yeah, some of you, uh, not all of you, maybe in someone's chart, but your person here definitely wants a passionate new start with you. Uh, you may be dealing here with an Aries, a Sagittarius, um, a Leo. Uh, not all of you, though. Um, it may be very strong in their chart, but I'm sensing Leo because we do have the, the lion there and we do have the uh, Leo card there. But this person wants a passionate new start with you. And I feel that you also want that. Um, but I feel like you're going to tread lightly here. Um, so we do have 
seven of cups here we do have a card of options and choices here um now i'm not feeling that you have as in there's a lot of choices with other people um it's more like it's in the choices of how can how can we make this work and do it sensible though um i feel like a lot of you just don't want to get hurt anymore you don't want to waste time anymore as well um we do have a hanged man here now i'm not seeing that it's so much as a delay it's a pause it's like everything was going and then okay it's come to a stop here though try and see things from a different perspective here how can i you know approach my person or if my per person approaches me first though I, I want things to go sensible though i don't want it to be impulsive or and I'm, I'm getting here a lot of you don't want your time wasted which is fair enough though um we do have the six of swords though and i this is really telling me that you're moving into karma waters you want to move on um and when i say i'm not seeing you moving on because remember the theme of this the title sorry of this video is reconciliation and moving on i'm thinking here it's not that you're moving on from this person because this person that you're thinking about this past person um they actually want to move into karma waters with you some of you may be in a long distance relationship from this person and that could be a couple of hours drive you know the next state or the next country could be a body large body of water between you if not though at the moment there's just a little bit of emotional distance communication may be very weak um but both of you actually really love each other it's really up to which one of you's come forward though but we'll get more information with the next um set of cards though but see for me as a reader we've got the two of cups here and he may be dealing with the water sign cancer scorpio pisces um, but this is telling me here that um you know as a reader this is my twin flame soulmate card so there is a lot of love here this person holds you in high regard i see that you hold this person in high regard too they may have just been just going your own separate ways some of you could not even just being friends though but you know there is a lot of love here and most definitely you want a passionate new start together i love aces because aces is it's like very a solid way of saying this is the beginning this is a new start so this is good news. Now, this is also my um, long-term, you know, four of wands, my long-term card. It's my marriage card as well. It's moving in together. You know, it's living together. It's, you know, marrying, engagement, children, all that. So, you know, kind of, a, this was at the bottom of the deck, which was overall, um, you know, kind of the overall energy here. And it's quite beautiful. You know, but I do feel here, Capricorn, that you're quite on guard at the moment. You want to ensure that whoever you're with or whoever comes back is going to come back correctly. And they're going to come back with, they must come back with just that equal give and take balance not always them 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 me 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 you know it's got to be both and i feel like you're good at doing that you know giving to yourself giving equally to your person here but they're definitely eyeing you off now it doesn't in a good way obviously they've got their eye on you you know it could be male or female gender doesn't matter in this reading here but they've, they've got focus on you and they're looking at you from afar though i'm going to get some more messages here but yeah, some of these may have stopped talking for a while, but the desire is there. We do have the Two of Cups, you know, as the last card that I pulled out, and there is a lot of love here. Maybe mirroring each other as well. So those moments when, you know, maybe you stopped working and you just think about them, you know, most likely they're thinking about you at the same time as well. I'm seeing this beautiful connection here. Of course, now more cards that I put on top, it will give me more messages here, but it's looking quite favorable, Capricorn. And, you know, good for you that you don't want people wasting your time anymore. You just, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a stupid game and, you know, it's not yours. You are much more above that. Capricorn, please. I'll put the cards on top of every pile first. Uh, every card and we'll talk. Ooh, what just happened? There we go. We'll get a deeper message now with these cards and I'll put more on top as well Capricorn please okay five of pentacles knight of swords queen of rods okay ace of pentacles oh wow beautiful page of rods the two of swords okay you're gonna have to make a choice eight of swords king of rods okay so we've got two kings um of wands here okay there's a bit of a broken heart here strength wow four of swords yeah they're definitely coming back the uh six of cups we've got the hermit could be dealing with the virgo could be also dealing with an aries what the full queen of cups this person adores you wow we got the hanged man twice page of swords they're watching you an ace of rods wow two aces okay <laughs> that's beautiful 
Okay, we'll go for that one. Yeah, they're moving away from something. Um, we've got five of wands at the bottom as well. So I've noticed that Capricorn, you're getting the same message with different cards. So for example, you've got the hanged man twice. You also got uh, the, the strength card twice. You got the ace of wands twice, the king of wands twice. Now, when you always get the same card from different decks, it's just really the reading, the cards really just affirming. And I'm doing that because it's solid. They're really affirming the message that's here for you. So definitely pay attention. Um, so for some of you, there may have been a, a breakup here. They could have, even if you started off as friends, Capricorn, there is definitely someone here that has been felt left out in the cold. Um, something unfair happened, something unjust here. Um, and it's not a nice feeling because it's like being left out. And I think that's why Capricorn, you're trying to use all your strength here. And I feel like for the majority of you, Capricorn, um, you may have been feeling a bit left out, left out in the cold, abandoned. Someone may have turned their back on you here. And that's why we've got the strength card. You're using all your strength here to show a strong front here that it's not affecting you, but deep down inside it is. And it's okay because you're human. But we do here have quick changes happening now. There is an abrupt change. Now, for those that like change, this will be good. <laughs> Um, but there is someone definitely rushing in. They have something to say to you. Absolutely. The, swords, the sword is pointing up. So it's going to be open communication here. Again, so we do have the divine counterpart. So whoever you were dealing with is your divine counterpart. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have the queen and we have the king of wands. So a lot of these may be dealing with a fire sign here. Um, but this person's coming in to offer you something, something solid. They're definitely coming in and it's they want to clear the air, kind of start fresh here. Um, and I'm feeling that they want to give you something solid, something tangible, something that, and I'm hearing the word, something that you can be proud of. Um, so we also here have the Page of Rods and we have the Two of Swords. So you will have to make a decision here, Capricorn. Um, I do see that there's going to be some messages here. If not, there could be also some passionate messages here of them missing you, them longing you though. Um, but you will have to make a decision. Do you want to let this person back in your life, Capricorn? Um, do you want to give this another shot, though? I feel like for some of you are curious um, that you will hear this person out. They do have something to say. Absolutely. Um, but you're kind of on the fence. I feel like there was there has been a lot of hurt here. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of emotional hurt here. And Capricorn, you are one of the strongest star signs. Headstrong, and I absolutely love that. It's quite admiring. Um, but of course, you know, there's only so much times we can get hurt before it starts to really sting. Um, and you're like, okay, I'm just going to retreat. So now you're on the fence. Do I want to give my energy back to this person though? So we've got your person here. They may be feeling quite stuck at the moment. Um, and in the sense that they do want to approach you. And I feel like they will. Um, but it's almost like, how? <laughs> they, I, I, you know, I kind of feel like I want to rush back though to you. But how? Because, you know, we've got the, the Knight of Swords is a very fast moving energy. Just like... Um, the chariot, very fast moving energy to you though. Um, you know, but this is always an illusion. It always shows that you're actually quite in a spiritual protective box here. Um, you are being protected, Capricorn. Um, but it's almost like a passionate new start that's going to release you from this mentality mode. If more than ever now, Capricorn, it's important to start thinking more positive for yourself. That you can do it. That if you do give a chance to someone, that you're going to be smarter and wiser. I'm not saying that you're not, but it's almost like. You know how to look, you've learned your lessons now. You know, we've got the king of wands now. You know, they're definitely looking at you. They definitely want to approach you though. Um, but I feel like this will also help you get out of that mentality here of almost a bit of a victimhood here. And Capricorn, you are no one, you are definitely not a victim. See, two kings, it's, wow, it's really cementing the message here. So, you know, this person uh, broke your heart. I'm just going to call it out. This person broke your heart. There is betrayal here. Um, for some of you, it can show that there was a third party. Um, if it's not a third party, because you know your situation better than anyone else, Capricorn, it could have been interference from outside people, whether it was work, friends, family that, you know, decide to give their opinion or meddle in this relationship, which is wrong. Um, you know, there was that interference. And because this card is crowning or governing the entire spread in the middle, I would say that this hurt runs very deep. And again, you know, you, you are trying to be very strong. And you are very strong, that's the thing. But it's kind of reaching a point now where you're thinking, oh, is it worth it? You know, I put all of this, I put 110% for everything. And, you know, what, what did I get? I get this. And no, you don't deserve that. So we have now the Seven of Cups. 
So he's definitely not talking to each other. And I'm feeling here, um, Capricorn, that you are extremely tired. Now, I'm feeling more that, even though this is a mental card, I'm feeling that, yes, yeah, some of you are mentally tired, but emotionally tired here. I'm emotionally tired of going back and forth. And also, the, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of you asking, why is this happening to me always? Why, why, why? Um, but we have the Six of Cups here. So we do have soulmate energy here. So yes, some of you may have been, uh, you know, you may have known this person for quite a while, even when you were, you know, children. That's not for everyone, though. You may have just started off as friends, though. Either way, though, there is a soul connection here, and there's still a lot of love. There is. And I definitely see them coming back. And I see them coming back quite fast, though. They definitely have something to say. So with the Hanged Man, we also have on top the Hermit. So we have Virgo, we have the Fool, we have Aries card here. So definitely... When I said you so kind of, you know, retracted your energy, that there is kind of self-explanatory, you know. There is a time of pause here. And you're pausing and you're reflecting, you're going within here. And that's taking care of yourself. That's what it is. Um, but I feel like you and your person are definitely not talking to each other. There is emotional distance here. Uh, but I do feel that your person is going to take the chance and they're going to come back to you. And I feel like a lot of you, um, Capricorn, will be wanting to take that chance too now. Whether you want to reconcile and start a new relationship together, um, we'll get more cards for that. Um, but I do feel that it, it could even offer some closure, though. But I do feel that this person is coming back, and you're probably most likely willing to hear them out at least. Six of Swords, Queen of Cups, and we've got the Hangman again. So this person, there is a lot of love for you. This person absolutely adores you. Now, some of these may be thinking, well, after everything they did, they surely didn't love me. But it's there. And... I'm also feeling that, I'm sensing that the reason why they're coming back is to say something to you. It's almost like they want to prove themselves. They have to prove themselves. There's something here that they need to show you. Um, and the hangman, again, so, you know, there's it's like both of you now are pausing to reflect. Especially, like, your person's pausing to reflect their actions here. Some of these could be dealing with the Pisces. So on the Two of Cups here, we have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Rods again. <laughs> so this person's definitely looking at you from afar. Not in a creepy way, though, but it's like, I feel like a lot of them are kind of reminiscing. And this is a card about reminiscing, the Six of Swords. They're reminiscing. They want to know what are you up to. I feel like they do, they deeply miss you. And that's probably why, when I was doing the meditation at the start, that you were yearning for each other. There was that sense of, I miss my Capricorn. And, you know, they want a new start with you. They definitely want a new start with you. Um, now, with the Four of Wands, we have the Seven of Swords. So, yes, unfortunately, it's a challenging card. Lying, cheating, stealing, being strategic, thinking you can get away with stuff. King of Swords. So, yeah, you may have been dealing with a an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Devil, and there's your energy right there. Um, that's your card, Capricorn. And we have the chariot could be dealing with the cancer. Um, so I do feel like maybe they were, they did have, they had to tie something up in their life. This is not for all of you, though. There was something a bit toxic going on in their life that they're moving away from. And they're going towards you, though. You know, um, some, I, some of them couldn't have been dealing with a karmic, moving away from them. Could be children involved as well. Uh, again, that is not for all of you, though. But I am, you know, I am seeing that there's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of people involved and... That's not good. That's not a good energy to have, though. But I feel like they're coming towards you to say, you know what? It's over. I've broken ties with whatever. Um, whatever was holding me back. Whatever was toxic. Um, yeah. Some of them may be, you know, the devil is a card of extremes. So if they could be drinking too much, eating too much as a way of coping. Uh, they could be just even overspending. It is a card of extremes. Burning the candle at both ends. Let's see, what else can we have? We'll pull out one card for each. One more. Of course, if this situation in Capricorn was toxic, I don't recommend going back, though. Uh, but I feel like it's more for your person, though, that they're moving away from something that no longer serves them. Unfortunately, you were caught in the middle. That's what happened. Ace of Pentacles again, look, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. They definitely have something solid that they want to offer you. Oh, yeah. 
It's like they're coming back changed. That's what I keep hearing. Three of Cups, yep, yeah, reunion. Absolutely, there is a reunion coming. Four of Cups, yeah. You and your person may not be dealing with the separation very well. Again, I'm pointing that maybe your person may be drinking too much. There is a vice here that they're relying on that's not good. King of Swords again. Yep. They're coming with clear, open communication. The sword's not pointing down, it's pointing sideways. Okay, so yeah, it may take a while for them to actually completely open up, but they absolutely will. Queen of Pentacles. Yep. So there's your energy right there. They absolutely adore you. They know that you look good, you smell good, you dress good. They just want to be a part of your life again. I feel like they changed. There's something that's changed in them. Look that, two of cups again. You keep getting the same message again. This is definitely twin flame soulmate energy here. They absolutely adore you. These mirror each other. I feel like you love them too, Capricorn. But something needs to be discussed here about what happened. You're the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. So, yep, they're definitely coming in. They're going to take that leadership. They're coming straight towards you, though. I feel like they know they need to come correctly to you. They need to come right. Or else it's just it's completely going to be blown. Because it's already a huge strike about what they did here. Two of Pentacles. Capricorn, maybe dealing with another Capricorn energy here. Um, again, I'm seeing here there's going to be a choice. They're weighing up the pros and cons. And I feel like you will be as well. This is not a decision, Capricorn, that you're going to take lightly. Yep, so we've got the death card. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, yeah, death and it's also renewal here. The Queen of Wands. Taking action. I feel like you're going to take action towards this person. Seven of Pentacles, you're pausing here to stop. Is it worth it though? Should I invest it? Is it going to pay off? Ace of Wands again, passionate new start. The Empress, look at that. So we've got Divine Counterpart here. It just keeps screaming Divine Counterparts. The Emperor and the Empress. This is beautiful. They absolutely adore you. Nine of Wands, look at that. Nine of Wands, still a bit defensive here, but we've got forward movement. Divine timing here. Capricorn, I'm definitely going to say that there will be a reunion here. There's definitely going to be a reunion here. There's going to be a reconciliation, but it's on them to make sure that they do things correctly, though, because I don't feel, Capricorn, I feel like you've put up with way too much, though. So I hope this helped Capricorn. Um, but as you know, they need to come correctly to you and they need to tell you the whole truth, though. And I feel like they do need to prove themselves to you. Um, and I understand why you're being a little bit, you're being quite defensive here. So I do feel like this is going to happen, Capricorn, quite soon, though. You know, we've got the threes. I'm kind of feeling within three months. So, yeah, well, I hope this sheds some light. Please take care of yourself, Capricorn, and I will see you with a new reading next week.